75 years ago today, Britain celebrated. Six years of pain and suffering had come to an end. The war in Europe was over and victory had been achieved. It was naturally a time for great celebration. People took to the streets, there were parties. The king made an address to the nation. Today, 75 years on, we celebrate and remember the victory that was won, but also the cost of that victory. And so we offer our prayers for this, the 75th anniversary of VE Day. Our prayer this morning was written by the moderator of the Church of Scotland. Trusting the promises of God and with faith in his mercy, let us pray to the Lord on this, the 75th anniversary of VE Day. Let us pray. Let us give thanks for the selfless and courageous service and sacrifice of those who brought peace to Europe and for the good example they have given us. As they fought for justice, that the scourge of prejudice and oppression might never again take root in our societies. May we work for a world in which hatred and injustice never have the final word, and where all people can flourish with dignity and hope. As they struggled, so that the whole human family might know goodwill, security and freedom. May we always acknowledge how precious are the gifts which God has entrusted to us and exercise the freedoms and responsibilities we have with gratitude and humility. Let us give thanks for the reconciliation of former enemies, for the flourishing of goodwill between them, and for the many blessings we enjoy as a result of the sacrifices which have been made for peace. Let us pray for nations still devastated by war, for their people and their leaders, and for those who suffer the effects or memories of past wars, for veterans, for those who mourn, and for all innocent victims whose lives have been shattered by the cruelty of others. Let us give thanks for those who work for peace and liberty throughout the world for the armed forces and for all who strive to bring an end to injustice and oppression. Let us pray for those in our own day who have grown weary or lost hope as a result of violence or terror, for all refugees and displaced people and for those who seek to address the causes of discord and trust. Let us pray for the young people of our own day and for all who will shape the future of this nation, that they may be inspired by those who have gone before them to serve as they have been served. as generations before us fought for peace, that the world might never again know such violence and destruction. 
May we work for peace and reconciliation in our homes and communities and promote peace throughout the world. We ask this our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you.